Creality recently launched a new Ender 3. Ender 3S One Plus. Here are some data I gathered in comparison to the 3 Ender 3S One we have. And let me walk you through the details. Ender 3S1 Max is the one big twin brother of Ender 3S1. Specifically, the print volume went from 220 x 220 to 300 x 300 mm. For audiences who are more comfortable with imperial units, that is 8.7 to 11.8 inches in X and Y axis, which means a 86% wider print bed. I put the Ender 3S1 PEI sheet on the Plus print bed, so you have a clear view how the Plus version is expanded on printing space. Ender 3S1 Plus inherited the most crucial component from Ender 3S1, the Sprite Dual Gear Direct Drive Extruder. For whom aren't familiar with Sprite Direct Extruder, it is basically the extruder sits directly on the hot end, and it hugely helps to expand your filament choices, by allowing you to print flexible filaments such as TPU. What's always in comparison with direct extruder is the Bowden type extruder, which mounted on the side of profile. The Bowden type design always have less mass on the hot end than direct drive extruder, and causes less inertia which drop the potential of vibration. That's why we usually found more obvious vibration on direct drive extruder printer, since they have more mass on the hot end. But that's not the case for Ender 3S1 Plus. Sprite Direct Extruder Kit on Ender 3S1 Plus only weights around 210 grams. And 288 grams for the Pro version. That's why I barely experience ringing and ghosting issues on the Plus, which are commonly seen on other direct drive printers. The benefits of getting a direct extruder is they are more accurate on the extrusion and retraction control, since it shortens the path from the feeding gear to the nozzle. The Bowden type extruder pushes the filaments to the hot end through a long long Teflon tube. You never gonna know what happens to filament in that tube. Bending, wearing, everything causes slow response of extrusion management. So the direct drive obviously makes the extrusion and retraction more controllable. Also, CR Touch Auto Leveling is pre-assembled on the extruder. And, there is another feature to mention on Sprite Extruder. Creality customized the gear ratio to 3.5 to 1, to improve the accuracy, and elevates the torque to 80 N. Ender 3S1 is the first Ender 3 printer featured with default dual Z-axis. And the Plus also inherited the design. Dual Z-axis effectively reduced the vibration which can lead to less layer shift. What's more, Ender 3S1 series also featured a tight belt on the top end of lead screws. And the function of this belt is to ensure two lead screws move simultaneously. You may know Ender 3S1 comes with a 4.3-inch LCD screen, but operating through a rotary knob. And that's what Ender 3S1 Pro got improved on, and passed to the Plus. Based on my using experience, both rotary knob and touchscreen are designed to be convenient to operate. Despite the touchscreen has always come with higher-end machine, I believe it is basically personal preference stuff. So, that's it for the day. Thanks for stick to the end of this video. If anything you want know about these printers, 
please let me know in the comment. I'll see you around. And happy printing.